Government College Bida is a famous post-primary institution in Bida, an institution reckoned with in terms of the eminent personalities it has produced, among them two former heads of state, General Ibrahim Babengida and General Abdul Salam Abubakar. The school was established in 1914. It was founded in 1912 and established in 1914. Of the prominent uh, Nigerians, the stud uh, students that passed out from this school, one is uh, Ibrahim, General Ibrahim Babangida, I think one time head of state. He was admitted here in 1957. And in their class, we, they have a number of generals, which uh, General Babangida is one, General Sani Sami is one again, uh, General Abdul Salami, one time head of state also, was one, uh, General Muhammad Maiguru. Uh, General Muhammad Gadu Nasku, they all passed out from this famous institution, Bomo College, Beda. How would you compare the academic standard of the school now and as at that time? Uh, generally, I would say uh, all over the nation, the standard of schools were not what they were in the past. And uh, uh, maybe we may count this to be maybe the population and the maybe age of maybe students maybe taking enrolled in schools these days because in those days they were fairly matured and this time no. So the standard was high that particular time. A couple of old boys of the school relate their experiences in the school. I came into that school in 1956. Then there, there was a lot of discipline. Even as princes, we had to stay in uh, dormitories, you know, boarding dormitories. We weren't allowed to go home. We fear even our senior prefects much more than the, the teachers myself. So you could be disciplined as a prince. Yes. Academically, it was just, it was better than what you find these days, honestly speaking, myself, because uh, we were much more dedicated to our studies. The teachers were very much educated. Most of them that time were Europeans. And uh, they didn't tolerate any nonsense at all for anybody. Before we left, uh, there were... Uh, Nigerians who were then graduates and then appointed education officers who came to teach us. But then, like I said, they were much more dedicated to our course because they were preparing us for the future, for what we are today. In those days, the principal would go from class to class, watching the teacher from the window, you know, before he gets into the class. But not now. Our boys will come in now. From five, they, they do as it. That's a three. You, you hardly ask them to construct a sentence. Some, some of them will, will not even know what they're taking that one. Now, when you compare the life of the studentship of those days with uh, today's uh, life, I think you find that uh, there's no studentship today. Because in those days, both those who have and those who don't have children are mixed together and they're schooled together without any sign of showing differences. And we are well disciplined. We have activities which are a raised chronological order that everybody has to follow. The standard was very high. High in the sense that um, they drill you. During my days, I was a prophet, a school prophet, for that matter, and um, lab prophet and room prophet at the same time. But my, uh, in the school, my popularity is as a result of uh, being a sportsman. What advice do you have for to these students? 
is to take their education very serious because that is where the future is hinged. And anybody and any society that plays with the education is just like somebody playing with his own food.